Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use the Economy Shop GUI plugin. So this is honestly one of the most simple but also complex at the same time as plugins I have ever used. And it's just really, really simple to learn. So anyway, let's get right into it. So as I said, it is a plugin, meaning that we will need to be running a version that does support plugins. So this will be Paper, Spigot or Bucket. If you're not running one of these currently, go to your server type, click the Jar and Pre-Install menu, and then you can select Paper, Spigot or Craft Bucket. I'll be selecting Paper and I recommend that you do too. Paper is the most optimized and it is the one that we recommend you do use. So click Save and then simply restart your server. Alright, so now that we have our version set up, it's time to actually download the plugin. Alright, so in the description there will be a link to this website. And this is where we're going to download the plugin. So it's pretty simple, we're just going to click download latest file. It will then download it, we'll just click save, and there we go, the download is complete. However, we do need two other plugins for this to work. So if we scroll down, we can see requirements, we will need Vault and Essentials X. And most servers already have Essentials, so they just recommend using that anyway. So to download Vault, we click it, it will take us to the Vault page, we'll click download latest file, and then click save. And then we can go back, and then we can go to the Essentials X, click download here. This is the official bucket page for Essentials, however you can download it on the website as well. Then we want to click download latest file, and then click save. Alright, so we now have all our downloads complete, and now we want to go back to Pebblehost. Go to the file manager on the left and then go to your plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, just restart your server and it should create one. Enter it and then go to upload and then file and then simply select your three jar files and click open. And as you can see, our three files are now uploaded. So we can now click back and then restart our server. Alright, so now we can go ahead and join our server. So to start off, we'll do this simple command that is simply slash shop. And as you can see, it opens the server shop. Then you can click an area. But as you see, in the bottom it says you do not have the required permission to open this shop section. And this is because we don't currently have the permissions we need. So an easy way to get around this would be giving yourself op. However, if you were looking to give shop access to players in the server who don't want to have op, then you will need a permissions plugin like Luckperms where you can individually give the permissions. Now they have all the permissions that you need on their website, so you can simply just copy and paste them into Luckperms. Our next video will actually be on Luckperms, so obviously if you're not sure, uh, just wait a few more days and there'll be a new video coming out soon about Luckperms. And I'll go through everything you need to know. But anyway, if you're not familiar and how to give yourself op, I'm going to show you now. So first of all, go back to Pebblehost. Now that we're on our page, we can scroll down. And as you can see, it says Connected Players Strange Stand. That is my username, and then I'll click up on the right. It will ask me if I want to confirm it, then I'll click up once again. And there we go, if we go back to Minecraft, as you can see, I have been made an operator. So if I was to do slash shop now, I can then click on an area, and as you can see, I can access everything I need. So as you can see, everything in the shop, there is so, so many different things you can do. So blocks, there is tons and tons of pages of, and there's pretty much every single item you'll ever need. And if we hover over an item, we can see we can buy it for $6, or we can sell it to the shop for $1.50. Of course, this differs between items, how rare they are, and everything like that. And if we hover over our little player head in the bottom left, we can see our username and then our current money. So because we are using essentials, we can also see our money by doing slash bal. And as you see, balance is currently $0. If you just want to give yourself loads of money really easily, you can simply do slash eco give them the player name and then how much you want to give them so let's say i wanted to give myself that much as you see 10 million has been added to my account if i was to do slash bow now i currently have 10 million dollars and if i was to do slash shop i can then go into a section let's go mobs and as you can see i currently have 10 million dollars meaning that i can buy these let's just buy 33 of these we're going to click the buy icon as you see i've bought 33 phantom membranes for $4,129.95. So now if I was to do slash bal, that money has actually been taken away from me. So you can also do the slash shop command, but open to a certain section. So let's say we did slash shop, and then a space, 
And then we wanted to open into the enchanting section. We can then select enchanting, press enter, and it'll open us right into the enchanting section. We could also do slash shop ores. And as you can see, it also opens up into the ores section. You can do this with all the different sections on this menu. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the sell all command. So first of all, let's just grab some random items. All right, so as you see, I've got a ton of random items in my hotbar. This would also work if they were just randomly placed around the inventory. So as you see, they're kind of just muddled up now. So now let's say we were to do slash sell all. It would then sell everything we had. So as you see, you have successfully sold 289 items for $4,070.65. Now, if you do actually look in our hotbar, we currently have three items left over. Now, this is because these actually cannot be sold. However, I'm now going to show you how you can actually add them onto the section list. And I'll get onto that in just a minute. So, let's say I wanted to sell some redstone blocks. I'm then going to split it across the inventory like that. And if I was to do slash sell all, and then redstone block, it will sell all the redstone blocks currently in my inventory. So there we go, but it's currently sold 64. All right, so we now have a slime block in our hand, and if we were to do slash sell all, and then hand, as you see, we have sold all 64 slime blocks. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can actually edit the sections. This means you can edit the prices, add items, and also remove them. So first, let's go over adding an item. So if you remember from earlier, we had these three items that weren't actually able to be sold. The elytra, the diamond boots and the coarse dirt so let's start with the coarse dirt we could simply do we could simply do slash edit shop and then a space and select add item and then the section you want to add it to so as i'm adding coarse dirt i'm going to put this in the blocks section then you want to select the block that you want to do so mine was coarse dirt so there we go it's all caps as well and then the next thing is the buy price so how much players will be able to buy the coarse dirt for? So let's say I wanted to buy it for $3 each block. We had put 3.00. And then to be able to sell it back, we wanted a player to be able to sell it back at let's say 0 0.75. That means it would be 75 cents. So now if we press enter, there we go. It says adding new item to the shop. We could then do slash S reload. It will reload the plugin. And now if we were to do slash shop, and then go into the blocks section. We can then go to the last page where it has been added. And as you can see, we now have coarse dirt, which you can buy for $3 and sell back to them for 75 cents. So yeah, really, really cool and super easy. So now I'm going to show you how you can also edit an item. So let's say you wanted to edit the price of an item. So by default, it was too cheap and you wanted to make it slightly more expensive. So first, we have to find the item. So once again, we'll do slash shop. And let's say we wanted to make bones more expensive. So the thing you need to look at is where it says section mobs index 4. So that means it is the fourth item in the mobs section. So as you see it changes the further down you go. So 5, 6, 7. So this is currently number 4. And we will actually need that number. So the current buy price is $6. Then we would have to do slash edit. Shop. And then go down to edit item. And then the section it was in. So it was in mobs. And then it was number four. So we currently have slash edit shop, edit item, mobs, and then number four. And then we want to set the buy price to let's say $12. We can then press enter, and then we can do slash s reload, and then slash shop, go into the mobs section, and as you can see, the bone has been set to $12. Of course, you can do this for any item in any section. This also does include ones that you have added yourself. So we could also change the prices of the coarse dirt. If you did want to change the sell price, instead of selecting the buy price in that command, you would instead do sell. All right, so the final example, I'll show you how to delete an item. But just before that, I'm gonna show you an even easier way of actually putting an item up for sale. So currently we have the elytra in our hand. We can then do slash edit shop. And then do add hand item and then the section we want to put it in so there's not really a section for this so we'll just put it in the others section and then the price we're obviously going to set this as expensive let's say a thousand dollars and then the sell price will put us five hundred dollars we could then do that do slash s reload then do slash shop and we put it in the others category so i'll go on to that 
and then go to the end and as you can see our elytra is now on sale for a thousand dollars and you can sell it back for five hundred dollars all right so now for removing we want to do slash edit shop and then delete item and then the section and then the id for the elytra so if you didn't look at it go back to slash shop go back to the menu find the elytra and as you see index 55 so now if we go back to the command slash edit shop delete item others and then 55 we can then press enter and it successfully removed the item from the shop so now if we do slash s reload we can then do slash shop once again go into the others category click on the next page and the elytra is actually gone of course you can remove any item you want it doesn't have to be one that you add yourself let's say you didn't want a trident to be sold you could just remove the trident from the menu all right so the final thing i'm going to show you is the cell gui so let's just grab loads of random things all right so we now have loads of random items around our inventory and now if we do slash cell gui it actually opens a cell menu so let's just put every single thing in this cell menu now as we found out earlier the elytra the coaster and the diamond boots actually can't be sold so let's see what happens we can then press escape to get out of the menu and as you see we have successfully sold 450 items however we have also gotten back some more items that actually cannot be sold that being the activator rail and the cooked cod so as you see if we look through our menus we actually cannot sell cooked cod and also cannot sell activator rails so we actually got them all back however everything else that we put in that list that can be sold we did sell and we got a bit of money for it so that is the full plugin with every single command so hopefully this did help out if it did definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time